Okay, so today we're going over 20 tips to get you up and running with your new Galaxy Watch. Let's begin. Tip number one. In addition to using the rotating bezel, back button, and home button, you can navigate through the watch by using the screen. You can tap, double tap, touch and hold, swipe left and right or up and down, and drag your finger across the screen. Tip number two. To customize your watch the way you want it, you can change the watch face. To do this, touch and hold the watch screen, then rotate the bezel to view available watch faces. You can add more watch faces by rotating to the apps and tapping Galaxy Apps. Touch and hold the watch face to select it. You can customize the watch by tapping Customize. From the smartphone, open your Galaxy Wearable app and go to the Watch Faces tab. Tap a desired watch face. The watch face you selected is applied on the watch screen. Tap the Customize icon to select a background and items to display on the watch face. In addition, you can go into the Galaxy App Store where there are several thousand watch faces available. Tip number three. To access the status panel, on the watch screen, swipe down from the top of the screen. Here you'll see several options that you can configure. The default options are power saving mode, airplane mode, ringtone volume, do not disturb, watch always on, brightness, theater mode, and settings. At the very top are indicator icons that'll show battery status, Bluetooth connections, and if your Wi-Fi is connected. Tip number four, to save battery life, initially, the always on display is turned off. However, if you want the watch to always display the time, do the following. On the watch screen, swipe down from the top of the screen to open the status panel. Tap watch always on and tap OK to confirm. If you notice the battery is running low, I would suggest disabling this option. Tip number five. In order to view your notifications, from the watch screen, rotate the bezel left. You can tap the notification to view its details. If you want to clear all notifications, rotate the bezel to the end of the notification screens and tap clear all. Tip number six. To enter text into the smartwatch, you can either speak or use a keyboard. For voice input, tap the voice input icon and speak the message you want to hear. Then tap send when you are finished. Pizza sounds great tonight. Comma, what do you think? Question mark. Tip number seven. You can use the water lock mode to exercise in the water. While in water lock mode, the following features will be turned off. The touchscreen, wake up gestures, and always on display. From the app screen, rotate the bezel and tap settings. Tap advanced. Water lock mode. Then turn on or off to enable or disable and OK to confirm. You can also press and hold the home button to turn off the mode. Tip number eight, you can use the eject water feature to help clear out water from your watch. From the app screen, rotate the bezel and tap settings. Tap advanced. 
Water Lock Mode. Tap Eject Water to make sounds to help eject water from the speaker. Tip number nine. You can use theater mode to silence your watch during a movie or in a dark environment where the watch could be a distraction. This will keep the screen off and the watch silent. From the app screen, rotate the bezel and tap settings. Tap advanced. Theater mode. Then tap on or off to enable or disable. When enabled, the theater mode symbol will display at the top of the screen. Tip number 10. You also have a good night mode. Good night mutes all alerts except for alarms and system sounds. This keeps the screen off and the watch silent while you sleep. To access from the app screen, rotate the bezel and tap settings. Tap advanced. Good night mode. Then tap on or off to enable or disable. When enabled, the night mode symbol is displayed at the top of the screen. Tip number 11. You can auto open apps without having to touch the screen. When the bezel indicator icon hovers over an app, the app will be launched automatically. To access from the app screen, rotate the bezel and tap settings. Tap apps, open apps, and tap OK. Tip number 12. You can customize the arrangements of your apps on the app screen. To do this, from the app screen, rotate the bezel and tap settings. Tap apps, app order, and choose an option. Most recent first, will show recently used apps to appear first, or custom. Arrange the apps to your preference. From the app screen, touch and hold an app, and then drag it to the desired location. Tip number 13. You can also hide apps that you do not want to see on your watch. To do this, from your smartphone, access the Galaxy Wearable app. Tap Settings, Apps, more options, then tap hide. Tap to select the apps that you want to hide and then tap apply. Tip number 14. If you're ever in an emergency situation, you can quickly press the watch's home button three times. The watch will then send a message to your emergency contacts. The first time you enable this feature, you will be prompted to designate your emergency contacts. The messages include your location information. You can also send sound recordings along with the message to the recipients. To enable this feature, access the Galaxy Wearable app on your smartphone. Then tap Settings. Send SOS requests, tap on or off to enable or disable this feature, and then customize options. Tip number 15. If you have a pair of Bluetooth headphones, you can play music directly from the watch. To access this, from the app screen, rotate the bezel and tap the music icon. Tap the output until the watch icon is displayed. Tap more options for the following options. Shuffle. Repeat. Then tap the play music icon to play music on your watch. Swipe up from the bottom of the screen to open the library where you can view current song, playlist, and cue music. Tip number 16. You can take a screenshot from your Galaxy Watch. It is then automatically saved to the Gallery app. 
To enable this, from the app screen, rotate the bezel and tap settings. Tap advanced. Screen capture to enable. Then to take a screenshot from any screen, press and hold the power key and swipe the screen from left to right. Tip number 17. You can set an alarm to ring at a specific time. To create an alarm, from the apps, rotate the bezel and tap alarm. Tap add and enter the time. Tap next and select the days to repeat the alarm. Then tap save when finished. To stop an alarm, drag the cancel icon to the right or rotate the bezel clockwise to stop an alarm. You can drag the snooze icon to the left or rotate the bezel counterclockwise to snooze. You can also delete an alarm you created. From the app screen, rotate the bezel and tap alarm. Then tap and hold an alarm and tap delete. Tip number 18. You can enable Bixby to work with your Galaxy Watch. To use Bixby, the Galaxy Watch must be connected to Wi-Fi or a mobile network and you must sign into your Samsung account. To set up the Bixby app, from apps, rotate the bezel and tap Bixby. Then follow the prompts to set up Bixby. Tip number 19. The Galaxy Watch lets you use built-in technology to make payments. To enable this, from the app screen, rotate the bezel and tap settings. Tap connections. Then NFC. Activate the NFC feature to link your watch to your credit card or debit card. Set the default payment app for your mobile payments. To enable Samsung Pay, tap and hold the back button. Tip number 20. If your Galaxy Watch is running low on battery, you can go into the battery power saving mode. This option will use a grayscale home screen, turn off all functions except for calls, messages, and notifications, turns off Wi-Fi and mobile networks, and limits your performance. To enable power saving mode, from the app screen, rotate the bezel and tap settings, battery, tap power saving, and then tap OK. To disable power saving mode, from the home screen, tap off, and then tap OK. And there you have it. Those are 20 tips to get you up and running with your new Galaxy Watch. I know there are a ton of features out there that weren't mentioned in this video. If you have some, please comment below and let me know. Again, thanks for watching this video. If you haven't, please hit that subscribe button below as I'll have more Galaxy Watch videos and plenty more content coming in the future. Take care.